because of the cross. Now we don't worship that cross. Listen to me. Because of the cross. I'm not talking about two beams nailed together. Two pieces of wood. I'm not talking about that kind of cross. I'm talking about the work that was accomplished on that cross 2,000 years ago. Somebody say, He finished the work. Jesus said, It is finished. His work is finished. Yours ain't. You hearing me? You can't say that. Your work ain't finished yet. How you know? Because you're still sitting there looking at me. When your work gets finished, you'll be out of here. You still sitting there looking at me? Your work ain't finished yet. Amen. You still sitting there looking at these bug eyes? Then God not finished with you. Are you hearing me? I don't care if he calls you home and you laid in a stretcher in the hospital ward. Some of you are going to leave out of here testifying, telling somebody about Jesus, leading somebody to the Lord. Because that's the kind of person you are. Amen. I, you know, one preacher told me, he said, I want to die preaching the gospel. I said, I don't, don't want to die preaching the gospel. People watch me just fall over. <laughs> My folks at Compassion Harbor just think, oh, he went out in the spirit again. He'll be up in a minute. Just let me lay there and finish dying. After I'm turned blue, there somebody surely say, maybe he didn't fall out in the spirit. His spirit done left. <laughs> amen. Somebody say amen. <laughs> Sometimes I get to rocking that piano a little bit years ago. I'd really rock it, you know. And, and, and my arm get broken. Like that. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, you know, like Jerry Lee Bush. And I learned that from Jerry Lee, because I named that for Jerry Lee. And I lean back like that and just rock that hand. And some preachers said, look like you Rick Mortis done set in. You couldn't move that arm. Man, one of these days it might set in on you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Too late then, the choice has already been made. The finished work of the cross that Paul is teaching us here in Romans 6, 7, and 8 is the only chance that any of us have, number one, of going to heaven. Let me tell you something. Mohammed ain't carrying nobody to heaven. Buddha ain't carrying nobody to heaven. Now, I know they want you to believe that there's other ways to go. I know that that's what's being taught. But let me tell you what. Mohammed is not the one that got back up when they buried him. You're not going to say nothing. I'll say amen myself. Amen. amen. Buddha is not the one that got back up. Amen. But here's what Paul said. As many of you that were baptized into the finished work of the cross. Now hear me well. As many of you that were baptized into that finished work of the cross which is Christ manifest his work, his finished work. You were baptized by what? The washing of water by the word. So you believe the word, you baptize into Christ. Which means that you died when Christ died. How many times is it appointed unto man to die? How many? Look at somebody and say, I already died. Now they ain't going to believe it yet because they're looking at it. But no, when, when Christ died, listen, he was a substitution. It was a, he was a substitution. Listen, if I'm in Christ, I was in Christ from the beginning. Who was it earlier? Was it you, Carlos, that said, you're trying to get back to where you was already at? You was in heaven? Or was that you that said it? You said it when you spread. Well, I was in heaven and I got born and now I'm trying to get back. You don't even remember saying it. He was in there knowing. Somebody give him a hand clap. But 
want to tell you something. You ain't got to look very far because you're in Christ. You're seated in heavenly places. You're at the right hand of the Father right now. Now listen to me. As many of you that are in Christ, you're dead to sin. Are you hearing me? Because when Jesus died, you were in him. You died with him. When Jesus was buried, you were buried with him. When Jesus went to the lower parts of the earth, you went with him because you were in him. Are you hearing me? You don't have to go to hell. You done been. Closest thing to hell you ever going to see as long as you choose to stay in Christ and walk after the Spirit. The closest to hell you're going to be is the torment that the devil's trying to get you to go through right now on earth to try to sway your faith. And let me tell you, it's just a smoke screen. Smile at the devil and say, leave me alone. Or bring it on. If he's messing with me, that, that's my witness right there that I'm doing something right. If he's fooling with me, he's leaving you alone. Come on, say amen. Hey, say something. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. So if I'm in Christ, when he came up out of the grave, I came up with him. Are you hearing me? I don't just know him in the fellowship of his suffering, but I know him in the power of his resurrection. Is anybody listening? And when he ascended on high, I ascended with him. And when he sat down at the right hand of God, I sat down with him. And Ephesians 2, Paul said, we are now seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Somebody ought to give the Lord a hand. This is why. This is why. I wouldn't give up my place in Christ to, for any sin or for anything or anybody. The only reason we commit sin is because the devil blindsides us sometimes. Yeah. And we see something we want at the moment and reason gets clouded up and passion kicks in and the next thing you know we go through with something stupid we knew we weren't supposed to do in the first place. Huh? Yeah. So how many of you ever said things you didn't even really mean but you said them and hurt somebody's feelings? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Didn't mean to do it. That's why we got to be quick to forgive one another. Because we all guilty. We're, you know why we're a fellowship? Because we're two fellas in the same ship. Amen. We all been guilty of it. We got to forgive one another if we want to be forgiven. If I say something to hurt your feelings, and you ought to forgive me. Forgive me. I may not even know I, that I did it. And especially if I come, a man enough to come call and say, forgive me, please forgive me. You're supposed to forgive me. Why? Because God forgives you. Huh? God forgive you. We're in Christ. It's not our intention to sin. I didn't wake up this morning saying, how can I displease God today? What kind of mess can I get started today? What kind of trouble can I get into now? Oh, Jesus just showed me something I can do to make you mad. Get up thinking about me. Are you hearing me? Yes. You get up saying, Hey, where you at, devil? I'm in love with Jesus. Thank you for another day. The devil messed up because I got it. When my feet hit the floor, he gets a migraine headache. He can't get rid of it till I lay down. Come on, somebody say something. Amen. Devil can't stop nobody from passion harbor. You connected here, man. You you are you're hooked up. Amen. You're hooked up. You need a divine hook up. Yes. When you connect with the right man of God, I'm gonna tell you one thing, there's nothing you cannot accomplish in your life.